What's going on, everybody? It's Late Boomer back with another computer build. I got the 3400G in the build. It's a uh, build for my grandparents, but I know a lot of people want to do this, and they're wondering if they can use it uh, in the combination that I'm about to do, so I say, why not do a build on it? So I got the 3400G Ryzen with the ASUS Prime uh, B50, B450 MA, M-A motherboard. I know a lot of people want to know if they can use a uh, the B450, and yes, if it's on, if your motherboard has been updated by the manufacturer, then you can by all means um, use it. So let's get right into it. We got the Fractal G Mini right here case. We got this. This is what's inside. Uh, this is basically the tools that comes with the case. The Ryzen 3400G, like I said. We got. Some ice mountain uh, thermal. I've got the XPG Gamex D10 uh, DDR4. I believe this is 32. Yes, 30. No, it's 3,000. My bad. 16 gigs. Um, I got an old one terabyte hard drive from their old computer disk right here. And then also I've got this. But let me take this out because we won't be using it exactly like this. Um, this is pretty much their SSD. I didn't want to go crazy, so I just got them a simple 500 gigabyte SSD um, drive from Silicon Power. It works fine in this, so I don't think it'll be any problem uh, with the new computer. I got the old optical DVD drive and the Avgo 500 BQ, 500 watt BQ power supply bronze. Now let's you know make some space. We get rid of this old piece of junk that we don't need anymore. Alright, now let's get to it. So first things first, you guys. Uh, after you clear some space, you ground yourself to take the motherboard out. Let's gently take the motherboard out and make sure we've got this Right. So we've got right here for the CPU, fan header, uh, another fan header, that's the, um, the um, CPU's fan header, power supply, you know, you got your SATA spots for your SSDs, the ROM, you know, you can even put an NVMe drive in here, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that for this. So. Let's get right to it and get to install it. And line up this little arrow with the arrow on here, which is right here. So I'm going to drop that in ever so gently. Bam. And drop this down. And lock it in place. And if you're wondering, the reason why. I'm the, uh, the top piece didn't pop off is because Micro Center already updated the BIOS for me, so I don't really have to worry about that. Next, let's take the ROM and get that out of the way. For this one, uh, the ROM the ROM goes into slots A1, well, it was, I mean, I'm sorry, A2 and B2. The nice thing about this motherboard is that slotted, uh, the slots are different colors. So, first time I built my first computer, well, the first computer I ever built, I made the mistake of trying to be gentle. And did not, you know, I did not make sure the ROM locked in. But this time, I'm definitely going to make sure that. Here we go. I got it. So I've been I've used this on my first build and I pretty much like it. So I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna put my P-sized amount right there in the middle. 
them spread it out. Not every everybody, you know, some people don't spread it out, but I like to spread it out. Now we're gonna take the CPU fan and we're gonna match it with the holes, all four of these holes on the motherboard. Just take the CPU fan and drop it right there. See, power supply out. We mm -hmm. saw this. Let's make sure. You put your back plate in. Take the motherboard, line it up with the back plate. Once you've got the back plate in, put these screws in so that the motherboard does not decide to move. Finally, which will go right in the middle. Uh -huh. Aha. Oh. You gotta get you some magnetic uh, screwdrivers like this, but that was just clutch. Just clutch. Alright, so now I'm gonna actually just tighten this one up. Get it out the way. But like I said, not too tight, but just tighten them up. So. Together. This is the 24 pin motherboard power supply cable, which goes right here. Make sure that there is pop in and bam. You want to put a little pressure, but not too much. So, this right here pretty much is um, for the CPU. If I'm not mistaken, which goes right there. It's an 8 pin. Same thing like with the 24. Just want to keep putting it, like pushing it down, but not too hard. You just want to put some pressure. So, next, let's take the old hard drive and connect that. We're going to put it right here in this top dri uh, drive bay. Um, I was Let's make sure we got this in proper. Try this side. Bam. 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 There we go. Got it. 
table in first. And voila, you heard a snap. And pretty much install the SSD. If I can line it up, right, there we go. Drop you. And take these last four screws, little small screws, and go. And I'm using the diagonal as you can see. I really mean it's a success. There we go. We got this mounted. We're gonna take the SSD and drag that in there at the top. Now it's become number one, the number one guy. Well, it's always the number one. We're gonna take this side of cable and then we are going to drop it. Say there's one there, and the other one's there. We got the, uh, you know what, no. I don't like that. That just looks sloppy. I'm gonna do my cable management some justice. I'm gonna run it to the top. This is how I did, uh, this is how I did my own computer. Cables, bam, plop it right back in there. I'm gonna take this side of cable and run it through the bottom. All right, so let's take this side of cable and we're gonna put it, make sure I got that lined up right, okay, don't worry. I'm gonna put this one right here on the USB 3 slot. USB 3s are always blue, so that's like the easiest way to tell what that cable is. Make sure I got that lined up right. I mean, so for the most part, we're pretty much done. That, these fans that come with the case are three pin instead of four pin. Uh, I was gonna buy an adapter, but as it turns out, you can still use a three pin on a four pin. Uh, just that the four, since it's three, it's just gonna always run at max speed, which I mean, it's fine. This is a basic computer, so. But eventually I probably will get around to getting them uh, a three to four pin adapter but for now let's just get to it I'm gonna take the bottom fan out yeah I'll take the bottom fan out and put that in the back to blow air out and I'm gonna leave I'll leave the top fan where it is. Just like, oh, no, there is for this now. back through there. Okay. I'm gonna take the top fan cable and let's let's keep it a tad bit. We're gonna run this through the back, through the back, and pop it up through here. And put it right here. Make sure I line it. Okay, so that goes this way. Bam. Alright. Now let's screw in the back fan.
guys. So pretty much we're at the home stretch and uh, I kind of pretty much did a little bit myself. Um, so I'm just gonna explain what I did. I have pretty much connected the, let me make sure I got it right. Yeah, the power reset and all of that good stuff right here. Uh, so at the bottom, right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll, I'll, at the bottom on the far left closest this way is the HD LED cable plugged in. And then next to that is the, I'll just take it out. That is the reset power switch. So it's the HD LED right here at the bottom on the far left, on my left, that is close to the power supply. And next to that is the reset switch. Plop that in ever so gently. Then right behind the reset switch goes the power switch and it doesn't matter which way you put that in. And then the final two are the uh, power LED with the plus and the minus. The plus side goes to the le far left, basically the corner. And then you can put in the last part, which is the minus. But I'm, I'm gonna be, yeah, matter of fact, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that in the extra. But no worries, it's, a, it's, it's an easy fix. Well, let me plug this fan in first. So I've got that one there, and this one is, is going to go right here. It's a three pin, so I have to be careful. Make sure I'm lining this up properly. Well, you have to be careful in the way, but you really have to be careful in this three pin. I'm going into a four pin. It's the USB 2, which, if I'm not, that goes there. Now, it's the moment of truth. Guys, so what I tried to do was uh, take my 500 gigabyte SSD from the old computer and use it as the boot drive, but it turns out since I basically cloned everything from the one terabyte hard drive to the 500 gigabyte SSD, that caused some problems. So I pretty much had to back up all my information, well, check and make sure everything was on the old drive as well, that was on the new drive, and then reformat the SSD, and then download the uh, Windows uh, Media Creation Tool. So you just go to Google and type in Windows Media Creation Tool and download that. And then once you do that, you, you open it, and then it's gonna ask you what you want to do. You click the second one, which is like you create a, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's the second one. You don't want to click the one that says upgrade this PC. It's the second one under that. And then after that, it's gonna ask you for like your information, like what type of uh, system you have, you know, Windows 10, 64 gig or whatever. I'll just show it to you real quick. So you would go, it's, it'll bring you here. And so you just make sure this is fine. Uh, architecture for mine is a 64 gigabyte if you do not know you just go to this pc right here right click that and hit properties and then it'll tell you see 64 gig i mean 64 bit bam anyway so now that you figured that out you hit next uh use this usb flash drive i forgot to tell you guys you're definitely gonna need a usb flash drive it has to be at least eight gigabytes or more and this is gonna wipe off your uh it's gonna clean out your flash drive and wipe everything off so make sure you're using a flash drive that you don't have anything on um and then you hit next and then once you're here you ask that's the drive you want so you know as you as you see it was just telling me like the files on that hard drive will be deleted and then once you do that you just wait for this progress to uh, wait for this project, this step to progress through and be done. I will come back once this has finished. All right, you guys. So once you get to this, you pretty much hit the finish uh, button. Let that do what it's gonna do. And then you just pretty much go to the, uh, the new computer that you are going to 
you know, install them. Um, the new Microsoft Windows 10. And so for me, I mean, this is pretty much the computer that I'm going to be doing it on. So I inject it, cut the computer off. Oh man, it's making me do an update and shut down. God damn. Hopefully we can bypass that. No, it's not taking it's at 30%. Uh, well, <laughs> I will be back. I will be back again when this is done. Oh, it's done. Shutting down. Awesome. Come here. I'm going to hit next. Install now. Set up the starting. So now it's pretty much just having problems at first, but I figured it out. So I, even though I formatted my hard drive, the SSD, sometimes it'll still sometimes bring up multiple drive partitions. And so if that's the problem, you just delete all of them until you see one partition left and it'll say unallocated space. And then you just hit the new. And then it'll create a new one for you. Now, as you can see, when I click partition two, it has the 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive right here. Uh, next and bang voila now it's creating the windows uh, setup for me I to set up things to how you like them for me for example I do not like to use uh, nothing but Google This is AMD built, so we're going to go to AMD and we're going to put the drivers inside of Chrome. Um, let's see. Yes, we understand. Shift sets. Let's do processors. Oh, processors will be active, actually. Ryzen processors. Ryzen. says by clicking the download button but I have not oh shoot I'm I'm not even paying attention anyway. And, and then we can also go here and click uh system Check for updates. You click that, check for updates. And yeah, so now it's downloading the latest updates. And pretty much once this is done, it's going to be set. So it's still downloading the Radeon 7 stuff. Should have been done, but there you have it. And pretty much do that and you're pretty much set to go but you know this may or may not take that long it just depends on your computer um but yeah let's check this it's installing okay so things pretty much are the same um whether it's AMD, Nvidia, Intel, whatever they're all pretty much the same so now we're off the SSD and as you can see then everything is pretty much set to go with this. So once again this is Lay Bloomer. 
Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, drop a comment, tell me what you like. If it's something you didn't like, then let me know what you didn't like so I can work on that. If you got any suggestions, don't hesitate to let me know.